A man and woman were found dead by someone passing by under a bridge off Evers Road near 410 yesterday evening. San Antonio police say the man and woman were living in the drainage ditch. The cause of death has not been determined yet, and the two have not been identified. However, police believe they were in their 30s or 40s. Border cities like Del Rio and Eagle Pass have seen more Texas National Guardsmen in their areas in response to mass migrant response rehearsals. This comes after Governor Greg Abbott announced aggressive actions ahead of the end of the CDC's decision to lift Title 42 next month. Currently, 6,500 military personnel are working along a 350-mile stretch of the border from Harlingen to Del Rio. President Biden is expected to announce another $750 million in military aid for Ukraine as soon as today. The Pentagon believes Russia is now focusing on controlling eastern Ukraine. Yesterday, Russian President Vladimir Putin said peace talks have hit a dead end, vowing to continue the invasion. However, the lead negotiator for Ukraine had a different tone about peace talks, saying negotiations have been difficult but are still going on. New York police continuing to search for a man who rented a van they believe might be connected to yesterday's subway shooting, although they haven't established a definitive link. Officials identified the man they're looking for as 62-year-old Frank James. They say a key to the rental van was found at the scene along with a semi-automatic handgun and other items. Police have found the van, but it was empty. Actor and comedian Gilbert Gottfried passed away at the age of 67. His family said he died after a long illness. Gottfried suffered from myotonic dystrophy type 2, an inherited muscular dystrophy that affects the muscles and ultimately his heart. Congress has asked the Federal Trade Commission to investigate the Washington commanders. A House committee says they've found information and documents that show a pattern of concerning business practices. They accuse the NFL team's ownership of unspecified financial misconduct. A spokesperson for the commanders denies the allegations and the team vows to cooperate with any investigation. Apple is again warning customers about threats to privacy for iPhone users. Those threats are coming from proposed laws in Europe and the U.S. that would force Apple to allow apps to be installed from places other than its own app store. Hopes for a turnaround on Wall Street after another down day. Overnight futures pointing to a higher open this morning. The S&P, Dow and Nasdaq all closed down 0.3 percent. Latest numbers on inflation driving the markets. Compared to last year, inflation is running at a 40-year high. The U.S. Preventative Services Task Force is expected to recommend that kids eight years and older should be screened for anxiety. The decision to recommend early screening in children was based on a review of studies that evaluated screening tests in adolescents and the benefits of early treatment. And that's today's 9 at 9.